things happen for reasons. Uh, it's not really controversial. Uh, most people would probably in some way agree upon that. Uh, in different societies uh, throughout history, uh, different political systems, uh, different parts of the world, uh, there has been quite a few different explanations to this and they also serve specific purpose of justifying fortune and misfortune like the ancient Greeks they have this notion about destiny why do things happen why did this happen to me it's because of destiny and it's really not much you can do about that because if destiny wishes this it's what's going to happen we're all bound by that uh, and the opposing that fighting against destiny will only seal your fate and uh, sometimes it's about religious beliefs, uh, the will of God. Uh, why are these my conditions while that guy has other conditions? Why, uh, well, that's because God actually wants it like that. and. There's a plan for each one of us, and earthly life is a trial uh, preparing us for the afterlife, or uh, might be the sins of ancestors, uh, or your own sins from previous lives. Uh, there's some reincarnation idea involved. So you may have things differently uh, and uh, just go ahead and get some work done and pay for your karma and you will have other conditions next time or uh, yeah, there may also be some explanations about uh, God actually re rewarding your work not only in afterlife but here on earth um, so uh, your fortune is a result of your loyalty towards God but if you know that you've done everything you can and you're still punished for your hard work, why is this so? Then we have this story about Job in the Old Testament, who was foremost of all God's servants. And all possible shit did really happen to this good guy. Well, this was because of a, a challenge uh, this Satan had uh, questioned God and uh, told him that they're only loyal because. Um, you're rewarding them. Not even this guy would uh, stay true to you if if it wasn't for being rewarded, having this uh, confirmation. Uh, you would see, uh, and they start trying him and. Really, there were some 
hard hard times but he wouldn't give up he stayed true and in the end uh, Satan had to confess that okay they are they are truly true to you and then this Old Testament God uh, gave things back, not back, but replacement. He had a new family instead of that one uh, died in some, uh, I think it was some disease, and uh, a new house and everything he would possibly want, and perhaps some more. And the, yeah, that this notion about birthrights, we, we see this some occasions in Old Norse mythology where Heimdall uh, made some Middle Earth uh, women pregnant and Three children became the ancestors of uh, three social stands at that time. Whatever uh, one of them uh, became their uh, original father of all thralls, and um, the next one would be the ancestor of all farmers and. The Third one, the ancestor of all, uh, whatever you call the aristocracy, the nobles, blue bloods, and uh, I believe this has been present and in uh, the feudal system. The, the four stands uh, and not really much to, to get upset about because you were born being a farmer and this this was just your natural position and those coming after you would also be farmers and same with all the other stands except for the priest who uh, where they didn't have any children for a specific reason they were not supposed to they wouldn't have any legal children at least um, and this would justify the aristocratic privileges this was actually what the bourgeois uh, stand opposed that they would overthrow with the French revolu Revolution. Um, this whole idea there are no birthrights, we should uh, be the product of our own hard labor, our creativity, our um, minds, our ideas, and enterprising spirit, and away with this, these old misconceptions, and uh, this new society. You should all have this chance to create your own destiny. And this is uh, the central idea still in our society, which basically is the same society. Um, the free will. And there are ideas about some different ideas. Uh, 
this also justifies fortune and misfortune. Yeah, you might envy my power and uh, my capital, but if you want this, then go ahead and get some work done and you can have all this and if you do not achieve this it's because you actually did not want it or you didn't think it was worth uh, that much effort might even be soothing for the individual uh, yeah uh, we're the product of our own work and our will and it seems like this is what I wished because this is what it is what, it's, what I have then th th there were some flaws in this uh, reasoning because we all know that, that there are some differences conditions uh, our genetic um, capital uh, conditions we're born with things inherited and also uh, the social economic uh, conditions of our society and our specific family uh, and uh, there are different ways of uh, explaining or justifying or handling this some general idea is that we need to have some kind of welfare system uh, evening out so that even if all people won't be equal they should at least have equal possibilities to create their own destiny and also some uh, safety when things actually do happen because we all know that there are things like diseases and uh, things happen in nature rivers are flowing and uh, tsunamis and, and there are uh, car accidents and all that stuff that can't really say that this person wanted this and we there must be some limit to the consequences this person needs to suffer for things that things that she actually did not choose and uh, as with all systems there are uh, those uh, morals are self-justifying and self-explaining because you will still have this uh, fire escape when things really crack you will say that you always have some choices because society is guaranteed that and uh, there are mechanisms uh, those this network which will prevent her from falling all the way down to hell and now if she did she has had her chances and the choice was to not take them obviously otherwise it would not have happened 
and uh, the beauty of this is that because those worst scenarios they can't happen because uh, that's how things are arranged so if they do happen there's always some explanation that we might ex perhaps not know about but we know that uh, she has made some bad choices and for that reason we We will not need to feel bad uh, to look upon things uh, and therefore things can happen because we know that they can't. Um, we assume that there are some reasons that she herself has actually chosen. So, in the end, the, that's the same self-justifying mechanisms that we've seen every system so far and that's why uh, that's the very weak link uh, if not questioning uh, not needing to be critical or suspicious towards society then in reality no matter how the laws are written anything can actually happen just because of that reason that they can not happen ain't that great